never be Yahtzees because they will never live up to the white standard. And that's okay. And what's really funny is like, um, them not respecting us, but what's really funny is like, if white people were to bring back segregation, I want them to know, baby, you're going to be in the right, you're going to in the field with us. Peace, baby. You're going to be pushed you with us. Me. You ain't getting over there. You ain't going to be chilling with the white folks, baby. You're going to be in the fields with us. So, like, I don't understand why, you know, like, y'all be trying to separate yourselves and shit like that. But, like, it's not, it's not like that. Because the segregation was still here, baby. You was going to be on the same field as us. So, and also, that, but. And also, I wanted to add on to what Jamarcus said about um, the Hispanic people owning se- slaves and also African Americans. Well, not really African, but you know, African people owning slaves. Um, my question to the chat is: How do y'all think Europeans even got the slaves? It was a slave trade, meaning that yes, African Africans did own slaves, and they traded them. They didn't. Do you really think? A group, a small portion of YT people on a boat going to a whole country, Africa, a whole continent. You think that that? Um, sorry, I'm so nervous. I can't get my words together. You think that they just gone like try to fight them off? No, they gave them away willingly. So yes, that is a true statement that Africans did on slaves at one point. It's a slave trade. Hmm. And I would, can I add to that? Because people don't understand the difference too. There, slavery is slavery, but the way you know um, the imperial court treated slavery is not the same as how Africans. They were doing tribal wars. They we the race where race came from the mm-hmm. inception of race came from, and uh, the whiteies who decided that they thought anybody who was of a different skin color was beneath them. And I think, I don't know, I just want to give out, I want people to open the books. I want, I want yeah, people to back. open the books. I will, if you want, I will send you my books. I will send you every book that you can educate yourself on mm-hmm. um, if you really want to. But choosing to be ignorant at your big age is kind of embarrassing. And it looks bad as a whole, even on the Latino community, because like as a afro latina it's sad to see that so many latinos just choose to be ignorant they don't want to be educated mm-hmm. and there are educated latinos but the problem is a good portion of people don't want to open books and they get so mad at you when you say truth when you say to open a book why does it upset you that i tell you to get educated i tell you to get a book open a book why does that upset you I just want no. that to be answered. And education is literally <laughs> on at the tips of your fingertips. You can look all of this stuff up. It's right there. It's right on your phone. It's right on your device. It's on your laptop. It's on whatever you watch a TikTok on. Except for being, except for being on TikTok, you can find everything out on the internet. It's like, right there. I can understand not knowing that Hispanics own slaves, but not knowing that Africans own slaves is crazy like y'all y'all really gotta do y'all research on that wait, wait, we have to highlight we have to highlight the fact that indentured servitude slave trade like the transatlantic <sighs> slave trade and things of that nature there was like a lot more context to that so like just because they owned someone didn't mean that it was the same like level of extent as like uh it being like racially based on how you present and then also when it comes to indentured servitude someone owing someone and getting paid maybe the bare minimum for uh, or having to pay back something they owe. We have to take that into account also. Anthony, no, oh, they know bad. about Africans because they'll bring it up. They'll be like, your people owned us, owned owned you. But then like when you say, so did your people own us too. And there's like, oh, no, we didn't. And I'm just like, where's the where's the books? Where's the books? So, you know, what, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> did yeah. Anthony want to say something? Like, did he, did he want to... Um, no, nah, I mean, I did, but like, I wanted to let all you guys speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm just, so sorry. Well, go ahead. You got the floor. Good. Go ahead. Um, no, nah, but I totally agree with, um, I think your name's EB, but that there's, you know, that people aren't educated enough. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, it's just the fact that like, we're just in a whole new generation. It's more or less like everybody's into electronics, into like, you know what I'm saying? Social media. And what the media is pointing out is that they're saying that it's okay because you hear like, you know, African American people saying, "Oh, that it's oh, not necessarily you guys, but like, oh, hey, what's what's up, my N word? You know, what's good, my N word? You know, like, 
like saying like, hey, what's up, my homie or what? You know what I'm saying? In that type of terms. So they're pushing that, you know, narrative out like NBA players and like all these other people. And they're the ones more or less like um, these are the people that are kids or whoever look, you know, look up to. Mm -hmm. So do you? So you Wait, think Hispanics is that N word then? I'm not saying that they should or shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like just it's more or less it's a whole different like time, I guess, more or less. It's like this is kind of like the people that should be speaking up aren't speaking up. Yeah. No, I you get know it. What I'm saying? I, I get what it's you like, like, I'm sorry, Anthony. Can I say it. something really quick? Yeah, go I for get, it. I get what you're trying to say because at you because like <clears throat> I get what you're trying to say because these people, like these kids, they're learning it from social media. And when you're yeah, a kid, you think like, everything is like cool, you know, whatever. But the thing listen, is, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, but the thing is, so like, I am Afro Latino. I've never been called yeah, like the B slur because. But yeah. if somebody told me I can say that to them, I'm not going to say that out of respect. Yeah, and it's more or less like now when you put on the radio 